Good morning. I thought I'd turn on the camera today to um, share some um, work uh, on my new blue pages and uh, some interesting information. Many of you have asked about this uh, medieval mirage, the papers that I used on my uh, in my last video, and as I leafed through, you were able to see how uh, how lovely these papers are, and yes, they truly are. Uh, these papers were printed uh, as some of the colors were um, uh, running out of my um, uh, cartridges in my printer, but, uh, and uh, I must share that these papers are printed on a, um, a heavier quality copy paper, and yet still so delightful. Uh, these papers printed on uh, matte photo paper are beyond the beyond. But um, for my purposes, I decided to do this grouping uh, using uh, using uh, copy paper. And Medieval Mirage uh, was, uh, was a learning experience watching uh, Rachel at Roxy Creations. She uses them very often. And so I purchased, this is my first purchase, first of many. Uh, this is the uh, Illuminated Flora Medieval. Um, and you can find Medieval Mirage on both uh, YouTube. She has a, uh, a YouTube channel and on Etsy. I purchased these papers uh, through Etsy at Medieval Mirage. So that's that, and I'm probably going to just play a little bit more with them today uh, on this uh, on today's fun. I'm not uh, having much time because let me explain what's happening. My husband is going to be taking both of our uh, both of our computers to um, to their creator. Um, because uh, I understand, now I don't really understand, but I'm going to use the words. Um, we have um, um, a seven, and I know that we need um, some sort of thing about it, um, to have 10 installed. Um, uh, so he's going to take the two computers up with him when he goes to a um, model airplane contest up in uh, northwest Georgia. He's going to drop them off. It takes four days to make the magic in each computer. So that's a total of eight working days. And he's taking both of our computers uh, to their uh, to their daddy to be uh, refurbished or whatever it is that gets done to them. And then at the end of the eight days, he and I are going to go up, pick up the computers, tuck them into the uh, car and then we're going to take a, um, uh, a few days uh, off uh, together up there uh, because I'm a, uh, I'm a land that goes up girl. I'm not a water person so uh, Northwest Georgia is just the place and I think from Georgia we're going to go up maybe go up to um, Asheville and, uh, and come on down home. So that being said I think that the date to expect me to be um, back to normal will be uh, Tuesday, August 20th. But I am, because of my setup, I am able to make videos all through until we leave to pick up the computers. Because my camera is uh, separated, um, uh, it's not, it's not a, a phone or a tablet, it's a camera, and the camera is connected to a uh, large monitor up here um, so that I can see uh, everything that I'm doing. Uh, I can look down and see my hands, or I can look up there, in other words. So, I will be making, um, I will be making videos for you over the time. My husband said that if I really don't get all full of attitude, I can use his um, laptop to 
uh, put the videos out for you. And I am going to uh, put on my big girls and try to do that so that um, uh, you can have at least a few of them in the interim, I'm hoping. Um, this is all a new experience. I am very aware and very knowledgeable about my little setup that I have here. Um, but that is limited. He has explained that it is possible to do all of this and send and put out some videos for you uh, using his laptop. I'm going to grit my teeth and give it a try. Um, yes, um, that was a little spoiled brat uh, behavior you have just heard. So hopefully some videos will be getting to you between uh, tomorrow uh, and between this one, which will be coming up tomorrow morning, and um, maybe August 20-ish. I'm also going to, in that time, be um, out shopping and shopping for us, in other words, for um, my Etsy and for you and for me, and it's going to be just a, uh, I'm going to make it, we're going to make it into a fun time. Well, that aside, uh, I'm hoping that you will see some videos and know that um, my face will have become a prune trying to learn to do the uh, laptop thingy. But I feel as though um, all of my subbies are so wonderful to me and I enjoy sharing with them that um, it's going to be worth the, uh, the pruning up. That aside, I've told you about uh, Medieval Mirage on YouTube and Etsy, and maybe around August 20th, everything will be normal again, I hope. So, here are today's shares. I have been using, I have been using this as my glue book, and it's, it serves its purpose, but I prefer it for smaller, for smaller items. Now, if I'm going to be using a, um, a full half page of this, that doesn't work so well, but if I use these magazines, it will work a treat. So what I took myself to uh, Office Max and had them, um, had them chop the binding of both, of both of these, and you know the quality of the paper in these, so they will, um, they will be uh, useful in two ways. I can use them uh, as a glue book, and I can also use the paper, uh, because of its nice quality, as some um, uh, background. The covers are certainly wonderful, but also the, uh, the pages are lovely, and what I particularly like about them is the, um, is the size. In other words, this works beautifully in half, it also would work beautifully as a folder, uh, can be uh, shortened, but um, as I said, the, uh, the quality of the paper is lovely, and I might as well get some uh, wear out of um, uh, the money spent for these magazines by using it this way. I'm also going to be uh, quite shameless, shamelessly using this as a blue book. So, today, I want to play some more with my new uh, medieval mirage, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to pull out a paper, and I'm going to keep these uh, a group of these over here to use for gluing. I'm going to take these and get them uh, out of the way. This supply should last for quite a while, and the uh, chopping at uh, uh, Office Max, I believe it was somewhere um, uh, in the vicinity of maybe a dollar fifty or sixty-ish for both. So now, let's see what I might feel like doing. Come in a little bit. Yes, I could. 
Yes, I could. Wax paper and bone folder. And there we go. Now, hmm, maybe about six, maybe about six tall. So that would be there. And off it goes. Garbage. Now, let the fun decorating begin. This is, uh, this opens up to the uh, prime real estate for this piece. And so is this and that. Let's pick something pretty. And also, and also some leftover bits. And these are uh, bits of my uh, pieces that I have scanned. Maybe I might uh, find room for those. Here is a uh, piece of uh, avocado dyed paper. That might be nice. These two are, uh, are leftovers from my, uh, my various and sundry journals. So, let's go to these pretties. Let's see the, these pretties. I think I'm going to set yellow aside. I don't feel like that one. Hmm. I'm thinking that might. Do I feel like butterflies? I think I might be. I might just be. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, I don't feel like pink today. No, I don't. Ooh, but aren't these pretty? Oh, and aren't these pretty? No. Let me, uh, let me get a little bit uh, involved with some butterflies for a while. This goodie at uh, Tuesday, mo Tuesday morning. Wrong side, Carol. Okay, let's go there. And maybe I ought to uh, do this correctly. It might help. Let's get this right. Let's just. Ah, okay. Now, this. and this one. And do I want the distressing, or am I going to put it on myself? I'm going to remove it, and I will put it on myself if. The spirit moves me. Well, maybe a smidge more. 
just a smidge. I must do better with my smidge. Very good. And I'm going to go right up here. I want to leave that uh, medieval font on there. I love it, love it. Oh, wow. Doesn't this just work nicely? Let's see, this closes. This closes, but not so much. To nip a little more off there. Just the tiniest bit. Well, I do believe that it might be it might be uh, operator error. I might have the fold wrong. Let's see if we can uh, help ourselves here a little bit. Let's see if we can help ourselves a little. Yes. Yes, yes. And right under here. So that's one, one bit, and on the front, because of that butterfly, I like that. Yes, I do. All right, I'm going to uh, do some cutting and uh, gluing, and uh, I'll get back with you when uh, that's accomplished. Before I begin to paste, I thought I would pop in and show you uh, where I am thus far on the uh, on the papers. I've decided to have the big side, the larger side, out. So this is going to be the quote-unquote front. On the back of that, I've picked a piece of straw paper from Italy because I just uh, I just think the colors work so well here. And this was the focal point that we chose first. And then we had our little, um, our little uh, flapper here. And so I've used a piece of the, uh, what I call the uh, background paper for these, uh, these papers. And I'm going to put one on the inside and the outside here. So this is where we are thus far. And then I, deci I decided, making an, an executive art decision, that how do I know whether or not I am uh, going to paste this, glue this down or not. So I found this piece of uh, lovely um, paper that I got in a uh, uh, from uh, Sarah and a Mushroom Market in Australia. And so I'm going to put that there, and then we had a little operator error uh, with uh, cutting. So I'm going to use a piece of the uh, of the cut off of the off cut here uh, on the back. That's my plan, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to glue these, and uh, we'll get to doing some decorating. Now I've learned also. Uh, in my last video, working on envelopes, I learned that a, uh, a smart girl, uh, if I'm going to do any distressing, do it before, because sometimes the way these uh, can fit in here, uh, things show. And so I'm going to see what I can do to eliminate that. So that's going to be first, and next is going to be gluing these down. And then we'll have some uh, we'll have some play. Put these pretties away. And 
and uh, I shall be back. Well, here we are all glued down. The, uh, the edges did need uh, a little bit of walnut stain. I keep all of my uh, my neutrals, my tea dye, my walnut stain, my ground espresso, vintage photo, gathered twigs, and brushed corduroy, all at hand. So, front, and the uh, I'm quite happy with the straw paper, our focal, our close, our closure, and the back just in case. So, now, all of a sudden, this just spoke to me uh, that it said that it needed a little bit of, uh, it needed, needed a little bit of my gilding, my very favorite, favorite, favorite stencil. This stencil is just in the category of uh, if the house is on fire. And I have a time to pick something in my, uh, in my little studio here. This would probably be it. Here's my Joe Sonia Rich Gold uh, for $4, probably uh, 25, maybe more years ago. And with junk journaling, I finished the original one that was uh, going for all those years, for everything. And uh, I still have one or two left. I bought in bulk. Lucky me, because I love this gold. I do, I do. Let's see what we have. Yes. Just the littlest hint. And since I'm, uh, I'm pressed for time today, I uh, think I'm going to stop after uh, doing this little bit of gilding here and there. Isn't that, there's something about that gold that's tickled me for 25 years and it still does. So, just a little bit of uh, something something there. And oh my, doesn't this need some, uh, some pretties added. But it is already afternoon time. And maybe just a touch. Maybe just a touch. Yes. Maybe just a touch. Just the littlest bit. Well, I'm certainly not going. I'm certainly not going to uh, leave the little bit of straw paper without a little bit of a touch of gold. Why not? And I know that I could spend another hour, as I'm sure you could, uh, playing adding bits and, uh, of collage. But that will have to wait till another time. I doubt that that's even going to show too much unless the light hits it correctly. But there it is. Now, 
just a little here. I think I'll go down here this time. There we are. So, this has been a nice, quick visit today. I have enjoyed talking to you and sharing information about uh, Medieval Mirage and um, about our uh, new computer plans and a little bit of the fun time in the mountains. So, uh, I will also be um, taking pictures of anything that I do uh, on our uh, on my top my desk here uh, and I will put them on uh, in my uh, Facebook Carol Martine and in Carol Martine art on Facebook and I'll put it on uh, I'll put some pictures on Instagram so that you can uh, see what I'm uh, what I'm playing with and uh, if you have enjoyed this quick visit today uh, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment, and I would appreciate your subscribing to my channel. Let's have a, uh, a quick look now. This is just lovely paper. The detailing here is really well. You could just look at the paper and uh, find things to uh, to enjoy. Slight touch of a uh, pink flower up here in the corner. This paper, which, which I call the background or the neutral, is just is just heavenly. She'll be following up with, uh, because there is more than one um, illuminated floral packet. So I shall be uh, having a good look at all of them. Bye now. See you in August.